In the next task, task number five, we're going to deal with AS path. So we're going to use the AS path attribute and configure R2 to make R4 prefer R1 to reach R7 loop back 10 through 12. Okay, so let's take a look on R4 and see what R4 is seeing for R7 loopback. Then do longer. So show IBGP and then the metrics and the long, uh, the prefix and the longer. As you can see right now, R4 is preferring R2 to get to all of the R7 loopback addresses. So what we're going to do now is to configure R2. So right now it's, it's taking this route. So what we're going to do is configure R2 to make sure that R4 is actually taking this route right here. So preferring R1 to get to R7. Okay, and the reason that R4 is currently refer, uh, preferring R2 because the AS path of the route coming out of R2 is 100, while the AS path of the route coming from off 3 is actually a 200, 100. Okay, so obviously the AS path from R3 routes is longer, and based on the path selection rules right here, number 4, the router actually prefer a route with the shortest AS path. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is to increase the length of the AS path of the routes that's coming from R2 by using the AS path prepending. So what we're going to do is to prepend a route with, let's say, 111 and 112, just to make a length of 3, which is longer than the length of 2 that's coming from R3. Okay, so hopping on to R2. First, we're going to come up with the prefix list that match R7 loopback. Let's then equal 24 with a route map to route 4, permit 10, match, IP address, prefix list, R7 loopback, and then also do a permit. Right, before we do that, don't forget to set our AS path prepend, which I already tried this once in the previous task. With the AS path prepend, but this time we're going to prepend 111 and 112. So basically, you can prepend whatever numbers you want, but just be careful because normally you would prepend it with the your own AS number. Because if you happens to prepend with the number that belongs to other autonomous system, when the autonomous system receives the route, it will reject it because it already sees its AS number in the AS path of the routes. Okay, but for us here, it's just a lap, and for our demonstration purpose, we can pretty much prepend any number we like. Okay, and don't forget to allow the rest of the routes by doing permit 20. And then the router BGP 100. And then neighbor 16.123.4. Uh, route map 2R4 out. And do clear IP BGP out. Okay, so now going back to R4, you can see before. Actually, I totally forgot about the AS uh, that built off the R7. So this is actually a 65123 right here as well. 65123. Because this is where the route is coming from. And now that we have prepended 111 and 112, I guess another reason that I prepended the AS number that's different from 100. So you can see that when you prepend it, it's actually gets pre the route actually gets prepended before the AS number of the router gets added. In the front. So the S number of the router gets added last in front of the S path that gets prepended. Okay, so obviously the length of the S path of routes coming from router R2 is now longer than the route that's coming from router R3 and R6. And currently these two routes from R3 and R6 are completely equal. And R4 just happened to pick the route from R6 probably just because it's the oldest routes. Okay, again, go back to the default path selection rule, which is the oldest routes for the external BGP routes. Now if we do trace to 7701, source from loopback 10, you can see the route goes through R6, R3, R1, R2, and R7. So the route actually takes this longer detour right here. Now let's take a look at uh, our next task, which is configure R3 and R6 to advertise R7 loopback 10 through 12 with the met value of 333 to R4. And I think there's a typo right there. It's supposed to say that 333 for R3 and then using the met value of 666 for R6 as it advertised to R4. So I'll make sure I add that to our 
documentation that we're going to make it available for download on our website so that way that guys have a correct copy of that again just to recap so what we're now going to do is to have r6 advertise the met value of 666 and then have the r3 advertise the value of 333 okay so let's take care of that first now on r3 I pre prefix list R7, do back permit, the standard equal 24. We have to come up with the route map to R4, permit 10, match I pre address prefix list, and then set matrix of 333, and then do your permit 20. And then under router BGP, 200, neighbor, I say 216.34.4, which is the router R4. Type route map to that, 204 out. And then clear BGP out. Okay, I'm just going to copy this. Do the same thing on R6. Okay. Do the match and set metrics. Instead of 333, we're going to set 666. And then route map permit 20. And then under route BGP 200 neighbor 46.4. Route map to R4 out. And then do a clear IP BGP. 46.4 out. Okay, so at this point, if we go back to R4 and do a show IP BGP, you can see before the R4 is preferring R6, it is now preferring R3 because of the lower MET value or the metrics value. Okay, and this is true for all three routes. Let's take a look at the next part of our task, which is now we need to configure R4 to bypass AS path checked and fall back to using met value, so it always prefer R2 to reach R7 loopback. Okay, so currently R4 is preferring R3 this way to get to R7, So, and that's because the routes that's being learned from R3 and R6 is has a shorter AS path than R2. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is configure R4 to basically skip the AS path length comparison and then use the Met value instead. In that case, since the R2 is currently advertising with the metrics of zero, it should be preferring R2 since zero obviously is lower than 333 or 666 R4 is seeing from R3 or R6. Okay, and that way R4 goes back to R2 to get to R7. Okay, as you can see right here, the route from R2 has no metric. So to do that, on R4 we do router BGP 300. And then there's a command BGP best path. As you can see, if you do question mark, it does not show up in the context sensitive help. But if you go ahead and type in AS path ignore and type enter, you can see it takes command just fine. So it is more like a hidden command. And if you do show run and look for that command under the router BGP, it actually shows up on the show run as well. So for some reason, that is a hidden command. And then since R4 is going to be comparing or have to compare MET value between a different AS number, we're going to have to make sure that we put in BGP always compare MET command in there also, right? And then let's do a clear IP BGP. Let's go ahead and do a hot clear this time. Give it a second. And now if you do a show IP BGP, look at the BGP routes again, you can see how R2 is now being preferred for the routes. Although it has longer AS path, obviously, but since we bypassed the AS path length checked, now it's just comparing the metrics. And obviously all of these are eBGP routes. So it went from bypassing the AS path comparison, you can see this step skips if you enter the path AS or best path AS path ignore command, which we did. And then it keeps going down to comparison between IGP incomplete or EGP. And all of these routes are IGP. And that's why we are 
using the met value for our path selection. Okay, so now if you do trace route source from loopback 10, you can see R4 is now preferring R2 to get to R7. So that part is demonstrating the use of AS path prepending to make the routing decision. And that's our task number five.